Oh, hey everyone, uh, today I'm showing you guys how to do the Odyssey setup. I'm um, going to run through the Marantz, we're going to use the calibration mic it came with. We're going to use this little Gorilla Pod tripod. It comes with a, a paper one, but I'm just not going to use it. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm just going to put this on the couch at a seating position. Plug this guy into the front of the Marantz. And then we'll get started. I'm going to make a bunch of loud noises, so if you guys are trying to be quiet at home, I'd suggest turning the volume down. Well, yeah, so you notice what's all going on. Tells you to put it on a tripod or the tripod it gives you. Like I said, we got it plugged in already though. Our subs are at half power. Our amps are on. Here we go. It takes like 15 minutes and it's a lot of a lot of weird noises you're about to hear, but uh, it works pretty good. I've Played around with it a little bit. I've started, like I've done just like the bare minimum to set it up. And if you do the full setup, you actually notice it does make a bit of a difference. This will give you an eight position setup. You can actually get it professionally set up, but I think get up to, um, I think it's 24 seats. I think you can get a 24 seat like, calibration set up if you get it done professionally. But uh, if you do it by yourself, you can only get up to eight. And uh, that's what we're gonna do today. So here we go. That ear height. Yeah, it's, it always tells me to turn them down. Oh, sub left. Oh, maybe sub two is off. I think it was off. And it's got a neat little tool in here if it tells you you got too much bass. There we go. Both in the green. Me talking to make a peek. And now we're gonna run the speaker tests. Let's see if I've got all the speakers hooked up appropriately.
Now it's gonna ask you to do this up to seven more times. Um, once, it's pretty much all you need to see. <laughs> it's just gonna do the exact same thing seven more times. All it wants you to do is move the mic here, move the mic here, move the mic here, move the mic here, and then same thing behind the couch if you have multiple rows of seating. But if you just have one couch, you can just do the one, two, three, and you're pretty much tuned in, ready to go. If you have some additional seating, like uh, if you got a couple rows, then feel free, take it all the way through to step eight. It'll sound great either way, but uh, I don't know. It's just the more you have, the more you gotta do, I guess. If you want a bigger theater, you gotta do more calibration points, but uh, I found just doing uh, the three, just with the couch versus fine. I've done it with eight, it's a little bit better, but it's not like, if you didn't know what you were listening for, you probably wouldn't notice the difference too much. It's not that big a deal. Well, there we go. I've listened to that noise a lot of times and did the eight rounds. And when you're all finished, it'll give you a screen like this uh, and you just hit continue and it'll analyze the data. But it usually doesn't take too long. The whole process, if you do eight seats, just keep clicking, get it through it, you can be done. Under 15 minutes, it's not too bad. And you only have to do it once, unless for some reason you lose all your settings, you gotta do a factory reset, something like that, or you move. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty simple, set it, forget it, and then it just works from then on out. Oh, now it's got to apply the room corrections. And... All done. There we go. Now I'm just going to pack our mic up. But, uh, there you have it. That's the Odyssey EQ setup. If you liked the video, remember to like it, subscribe, and uh, keep doing tech stuff. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm going to keep running this thing. I'll be listening to beeps seven more rounds, and uh, have a good day. Take it easy, guys.